Hello golfers, welcome back to JD Golf TV, your home for playing better, faster. Today's lesson is on unlocking some rotary power to get even more effortless speed. So let's get after it. We're gonna use a couple of views on the Swing Catalyst to help us figure this business out. But I want you to understand, we've already talked about how important it is to get those arms swinging well and to educate them, squaring the club face, moving in the correct direction, the back up and behind, downswing move for the planing up of the downswing. But it is true, and I did mention this, you're gonna wanna get that body out of the way a little bit. You need some wind up and unwind. We're not gonna to talk too much about the wind up, I'm talk about the unwinding, or what we say back here in PA, unwindment of your downswing. We're going to, in the old analogy that's been around for before I was born, which is before electricity, of skipping the stone. Let me tell you something. Those guys, those old-timey guys, knew a lot of really, really, really good stuff. Now, of course, we can validate with some science, but look at. I'm not here to prove science to you. I'm here to help you play better golf. Give me a stick. Now, you gotta be real careful with this. When you're doing this, you have gotta do it exactly like I'm gonna show you. I have at work, I have smaller sticks. Okay, right through the front belt loops. Come on, baby, you can do it. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna start like this, but I'm gonna push this right end in, or I'm gonna get hung with it. And, uh, well, I have the nice little tube here. These are my daughters from her little PGA Junior National Championship from last year. Love it. So we're going to do that. We're going to get a little golf club and I'm going to show you something wicked cool. Now this stick is really important to us. When we bow forward to get to the golf ball, well this stick is a big deal because it's now belt buckled down a little bit. So when we go on the backswing, the right side of the stick goes up a little bit. Do you see that? Now, I did see somebody today doing this at the range, squatting on the backswing with no tilt of the stick. You want that right side of the stick to go up a little bit during the backswing. But again, it's not about backswing. However, when people are trying to unwind through the golf ball, they don't turn very well. And it's not that you can't turn, it's that you might be lacking some information about what has to happen to allow you to turn better. That's really what we're after. So from the backswing, there's a bit of shift toward the target. So drive this end of the, start of the stick toward the target. Now that's usually pretty easy for folks. If I wanna practice just that section of lower body action in order to get myself feeling quite beautiful and effortless with my power and learn how to release the body, then release the golf club, well, I wanna get into that, right? All right a little push down the fairway. I could just practice it like this. I could do small swing, turn back, push it down the fairway. And in this case, if I did hit the stick, then I will know that I have rotated before I push. You can see that shift there. Okay, that's usually the easy one. And folks, by the way, it is 100% acceptable to have the entire body shift, you know, as I call it, the down shift. The stick points downward a little bit. 100% acceptable. However, we're gonna talk about the rotation piece, okay? And what I've gotta do, I'm gonna get this slid over now so I don't kill myself out here for you. And I'm gonna to try to get this stick to point up and behind me this way. Now folks, this tilt, I know there's a lot of people talking about side bending. Now notice this, I am bending my spine. Folks, I'm gonna tell you this, that is not cool. Okay, your spine wants to turn, bend, this way, turn, bend one way or the other. It doesn't like to turn and bend at the same time. So when we're talking about bending the spine, tilting the right shoulder down, we're missing the point. Watch this. Here's the kid. I'll pull it out this way again. Watch this, this old man. When I lift up one side of my stick, wait a minute, what's happening up here? Wait a second. When I tilt one end up, the spine tilts. Now this is the spine tilting, not bending. Get it? 
So when I go to hit this golf ball, once again, pull the stick through, folks. If I can get, even on a little tiny swing, if I can go from here and I can get that stick up and behind me, I will create some serious rotation. It's here, up and behind. And we're going to look at that a little bit. Watch this one. That kid rotating like a superstar. I'll be darned. Now, I do want you to make sure that you get some downshift before you rotate, or you might not hit the golf ball first. You might hit the big ball earth first. Let's show that from a different view now. Now, you will see that the better I can get, and this is not so true if you're really young. Some of the young folks can get the stick around and, and this other stick. Watch this, this is like a joke. I get this stick going this way, right? Wait a second. The kids, oh, nope. Not happening if you're an adult. They can get the lower body separated very much from the upper body, and you can hear that that feels great. Well, it is kind of how it works. It really is. You get back here, and we go lower body, lower. That's how it actually, that's really how it works. We're here. We go lower, upper, catches up, and actually passes at the end, just like we just saw there. That's really cool. But I'm telling you, if you are an adult and you have a job, chances are that as soon as you rotate the hips, this is going to follow right away for you. So don't get too excited about having to catch back up or having to create too much stretch shortened cycle. Uh, ignore that. From the top down view, we'll have a look at this baby again. And we're going to not just rotate. We're going to have a little downshift. Then we're going to point the stick upward on the left end and rotate. And you're going to see that when we do this, it actually activates my front shoe in this fashion. My front shoe, and my, this is a really cool cue, if I can step on the front of my shoe and then push myself back in that direction, well, you're going to see a lot of that on tour. But that may be too much info. It may, the best thing for you might just simply be get this stick going. Okay, here we go. Yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get that thing moving. Okay, using a lot of this pushing this way. I love it. I'm going to turn back. Oh, baby, that might be really cool, too. Watch the way this stick moves. It goes around. That's great. We got to get a little different view for the other side because you can't. Well, let's see if you can. Let's just see. Let's just see if you can see the actual tilt. All right, from this view here, there's the backswing. Just small swings. I get that stick going before the club. Oh, that's good. And there's my stick coming out of this side here. And by the way, because of that, I, there's no way to early extend. If you're moving that stick back toward this wall, you can't early extend, folks. That's the end of that stuff. Oh, look at that guy go. He's turning like a madman there. Let's check the other view. This guy's beautiful. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at him go. So I've got some shift. There it is. Club's not moving very much. There goes the bod. Unwinding. Very, very hip. And one more view. I just love this top-down view. It makes me very happy. And sometimes I'll put a stick right here, like on a music stand, and go smack that stick down again. All right, here you go. So you can see there, there's the difference. It's a little bit of stick first. The club's still going back as the stick goes. Now I can let it rip. The shoulders come with it because they're, well, not going to do anything different in my body. And there's the stick wide open. Now there goes the arms. And there is the throw that we've talked about before. So remember what we talked about. You can throw a runner out from second, maybe even shortstop to first like that. Maybe even third base. But you're not striking anybody's out without an unwind and throw. And this stick can help you a bunch. So go back to that image. Okay. A javelin throw is not bad. Oh, I like it. An underhand javelin throw, which is the exact same thing as this. We'll call my trusty Odyssey fake hole the stone. I got my stone. 
Isn't that cool? Folks, you know how to do it. You may have just turned it off in your golf swing. Okay? Unwind, throw like hell, you'll strike the ball more solidly and have more effortless power if we get the whole thing going. Get after it.